What you notice now is Super Duty has four engines. No longer do we have a 6.2 liter. The 6.2 liter is replaced by the 6.8 liter V8. So the 6.8 liter is a derivative of our 7.3 with the Godzilla name as people have coined it. Um, it's a pushrod V8 engine, uh, very proven in the industry. We've had it out since 2020, customers love it. Uh, so we brought the 6.8 liter in to replace the 6.2. So gives you uh, very common components with the 7.3 and also the durability that the customers have uh, come to love and expect out of the Ford engines. What is also new is we are bringing in 10 speed transmissions behind all of our powertrains. So the 6.8 liter will now have a 10 speed transmission versus a 6.2 that had a six speed. It's important to say that because efficiency then goes up as we bring in uh, new 10 speed transmissions and also some new technology to uh, improve uh, efficiency of these power plants. So this engine right here, we can't talk numbers yet. This engine uh, does very well and is gonna be our base power plant um, and standard as part of our XL, XLT trim. As you step up, we don't have it here, but imagine there's an engine here and there'll be another one there we'll talk about in a minute. The 7.3 would be right here. So the optional engine for the gas is gonna be the 7.3 liter. So even if you're a customer that's buying an XL or an XLT, you can still option up to the 7.3 liter. Again, it gets a 10 speed transmission behind it. It'll have improved horsepower and torque over uh, the existing 7.3 liter. We can't talk numbers, but uh, we expect our gas powertrain lineup is gonna be very solid uh, going into uh, 2023 and beyond with these two offerings. So if we had another engine right here, we'd call it our 6.7 liter. And it's a very similar engine to what we have in production today. It's gonna to be our base offering when you check the box for a diesel. So the 6.7 liter would be here, but let's talk about this guy here. This is our new 6.7 liter with the high output. So this engine is based on our very stout architecture. We've coined Scorpion internally within Ford. Uh, it brings some improvements both through calibration and hardware to allow us to achieve uh, unheard of horsepower and torque numbers. So if we talk hardware, what you see here is we have two ports right here. And what these are is these are cooling. The cooling jacket goes around the turbo. So we have now a water-cooled turbo that's coming in on our 6.7 liter. The base engine won't have this. The 6.7 liter high output also will get stainless steel exhaust manifolds. You'll notice that our exhaust manifolds are still in the inside of the engine. So people that don't know, the Scorpion brings the air in from the sides and then it brings the exhaust out into the turbo in the valley. So we've water cooled our turbo and we've got stainless steel exhaust manifolds to allow us to achieve uh, unheard of horsepower and torque numbers combined with calibration and other tidbits along the way to get us there. But uh, we know that this engine has been proven durable, uh, proven very capable. Uh, driving it out in the real world is incredible and uh, it's going to shock a lot of people. Additionally, one thing we should talk about is both of our diesels will get a different oil pan that allows a slightly larger uh, oil capacity. What that will do is it'll allow extended oil change times. So. Gone are the days when you have a roughly a 10,000 mile oil change interval. Now we'll be able to get up to um, 15,000 mile with our oil change intervals on uh, the new, both the uh, standard diesel and the optional high output diesel.